Sorry, I'm a lot late on this one, but Metal Herlong Chronicles was Monday, and this week we got the Season 1 and Season 2 finales. So we start off with Pledge of Anya, starring Rudger Har as this weird priest type evil looking dude whose greatest warrior must defeat the demon that's going to destroy the world. And the guy is shirtless in Russia during the winter. So next up we had Back to Reality. No, I'm not going to sing the song. Mostly because I can't rap. But it is the season finale for season two. So he's on his mission past these Russian guards to the bedroom of the demon. And, okay, this episode is not great, but it does play into the next episode I'm going to show you. And it has its point, and it is interesting enough. Uh, it's not a real twist, but it is pretty interesting, and Rudger Har is awesome as always. There's some really attractive women in it, attractive guy for the ladies, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a watchable one. Not necessary, though, I don't think. Next up is the season two finale, Back to Reality. And no, I'm not going to rap. So it starts off, this guy is running a virtual reality clinic. And people can take these drugs, go to sleep, and then their dreams become vivid dreams. And they're so real and awesome. But he's actually lying. So that's not even the twist in this. That's just the plot. Uh, everybody dreams to be a hero first. And once they figure out the technology works, they all dream about sex. So they all so he keeps a hooker on duty to fuck the people while they're on drugs and they hallucinate that all this cool stuff's happening and that she's this supermodel. But all this cool stuff that's happening is actually the first episodes of the show. This episode cuts in footage of all the other episodes as hallucinations of these people that think they're doing virtual reality. Um, I really like this episode. I got to see a bunch of stuff I've seen through the last couple of weeks. Good to see how it's reinterpreted, uh, reimagined, and used in a different way. And it actually turns out pretty good. Uh, the twist is also, also really good and interesting. No little moral quandary thing for you to look at. So I recommend this one too. Uh, if there's a season three next year, I'll be back and review that, but European television is kind of weird, so it could be six months, it could be 18 months. I really don't know. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time.